y'all! Today I'm sharing a super easy pumpkin spice cake recipe. To start off, you add a cup of pumpkin puree, then add three eggs and a cup of water and mix that in really good. Now add your spice cake mix and mix that all in really good and mix it for about two minutes. You can use half a cup of pumpkin in this recipe, but we like to put a cup in. It makes the cake a lot more moist and dense, and it's a lot more like a homemade cake and not super light and fluffy like a box cake mix. And it's almost like a pumpkin bread or a pound cake, and it lasts and tastes so good even days after you make it. I'm still in the process of testing out making my own spice cake mix and if y'all are interested in that be sure and subscribe because I'm going to have a video coming out of that really soon. Now we need to butter the pan. If you have a really good nonstick pan you may not even need to do this. Now just pour the batter into the grease pan. Be sure and spread the batter as evenly as possible and I like to tap the pan to get all the air bubbles out. Then I bake it in my oven at 300 degrees for 20 minutes. Minutes. Your baking times vary on your appliances that you're using and I usually just bake it for less time than it calls for and add to it if it's needed. Mine wasn't quite done so I turned it around and baked it for another five minutes. Now it's all done. To check you can always stick a knife or toothpick in the center. You want your toothpick or knife to come out clean and if it has cake crumbles on it that's fine as long as it doesn't have a gooey batter. While the cake is cooling I like to make the icing. Today we are making a new recipe. It is a brown sugar icing and to start all we need to do is take four ounces of cream cheese and mix it up really good in the mixer. And now we add three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. Next is a half a cup of brown sugar. Then we add a half a teaspoon of vanilla, but add as much as you like. Add it to your taste. Now add one to two tablespoons of milk. It's probably best to measure this because I added too much. So now I have to add more powdered sugar to make the icing thicker. It's like making pancakes. It's easy to get too much liquid. If you're not making homemade icing, you really should. It makes even the store-bought cake mixes taste so much better. Once the cake is completely cool, just add the icing to the top. The recipe as well as a link to a printable version of this recipe is in the description below. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you'd like to support this channel with a one-time donation, there's a link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all next time.